Right, welcome to part two of understanding the new activation process for Rockwell software. In part one, we discussed how to activate your software, but what if you're the purchaser or the owner of the software and need to distribute your software activations throughout your company, like a team of engineers? In part two, we'll focus on how to add additional users to a software contract. In this video, We'll be using Google Chrome as our main browser. We recommend using Chrome or Microsoft Edge. So Rockwell's new software portal is where you can renew and manage your activations. To begin, we'll navigate to commerce.rockwellautomation.com. Once the website loads, you want to go ahead and log in or create an account. Just for simplicity, I'm already signed in. Once logged in, you want to go to the My Subscriptions tab. And here you will see all of your Rockwell software contracts that have been made uh, throughout the, through the portal. From this page, you want to select Manage Licenses over here on the right. And here you can view your activations, who they've been sent to, who has activated them, and add any additional users. Today we'll just take a look at adding additional users. So first we want to find the contract that is tied to the software activation that we need. You can verify this by viewing the product description and possibly the end date. If you're not sure if this is the right software package, you can go back to the My Subscriptions where you can see all of your active software. Once you've located the correct software, just simply click the Add User button. To add a user, just type their email address in the provided box. So I'm just going to send this to myself. And then how many installs you want to have allocated to that user. So I'll just type one. Okay. This will send the new user an email to use for their software activation. You can view part one of this series to review how to activate your software licenses to a computer. And also please note, if you've allocated more than one activation to a user, when they activate that license, it will activate all the installs allocated to them. If you need to give out multiple installs to a single user, just add them again under the Add User uh, section. And then lastly, I just want to review some of the important features you can find under the Users uh, section here. And the first being the Machine ID. This is which machine the serial number for that activation is bound to. And then there's also allocated. This is how many licenses were allocated to that specific user. And then bound is how many licenses were actually bound to a PC. And then lastly, we have the status. And for the status, you'll have one of two options here. It's either going to be pending or bound. Pending means that an email was sent to the added user, but they haven't taken action on it yet. And bound is that that user received the email and clicked the big red button in their activation email, and their license has officially been activated. So you can allocate multiple licenses to users, but only bound licenses are count towards the total license count. In our next video, we'll review additional options for managing and distributing licenses, specifically for toolkit users.